Hey crew, I'm your instructor Al and welcome to a 10 minute City Row Endurance class. With City Row, you get cardio, strength, mobility, endurance, and stretching, everything you need. In our endurance class, we'll go the distance with longer rowing efforts on the machine at mid to high speed ranges, challenging your cardiovascular system and building your overall conditioning. Be prepared to row a lot of meters. At City Row, we always keep it high intensity, but low impact so you get the burn without the strain. I'm excited to take you through a 10 minute class that will show you what our endurance workout is all about. Meet me at the back of your mats or just whatever space you have. Let's get to some movement prep and let's get it started. Come on. Team, we're at the back of our mats and we got to get right into this work. We're going to separate our feet. We're going to take our hands right behind our head, unlock the knees. We're going for five good mornings in three, two, one. Push your hips back. You're going to start to feel the hamstrings. Stand right back up to the top. Starting to initiate this hinge. We like to hinge. We hinge on the rowers throughout it. So starting to isolate through your hamstrings. Push back up to the top. We go three more. Two more. Last one. Boom. Keep the feet separated. We're going to drop right into five bodyweight squats. Arms out to counterbalance. Sitting down. Explode back up to the top. That's one. That's two. All the way down, three, four, five. We get into our high plank. Now, walking your hands out into your high plank position. From here, stack your hands and your shoulders. We'll swing our right foot to our right hand, and we're gonna hang out here for just a second. We always take a little bit of time during this movement prep. We don't wanna rush right into the work. We wanna make sure, again, the body's primed. Drop that elbow, open up the hip, rotate through your trunk, arm floats right up over the top. Take a deep breath in, pull it back down. Swing your leg around. Opposite leg comes forward, right next to the hand. Hang there for a second, drop the elbow, rotate through your trunk, arm floats up over the top. Deep breath in, place it down. Swing your leg back, open up the feet, walk your hands towards your toes, roll up the spine. Can you believe it? It's time to row. We get onto our rowers team and we're moving through. 10 minutes. It's not a lot of time, and I feel like it is my duty to make sure you know that this is the best 10 minutes of your life. So we come up right here, we grab the handles, we've strapped in nice and tight across the widest part of our shoe, and we're in our catch position. Shoulders slightly in front of the hips, pack them down. We're gonna just push back with our legs five times in three, two, one. Push, don't overcomplicate it. Just the legs, two, don't overcomplicate it. Three, four, Five. The first movement of your row is a leg drive. Second is a hip swing. So now all we do is we pivot from one to 11, passing through 12. Let's go for two more. One more. Good, hang out right here. Now that last part is gonna be arms only. Handle comes right under the chest, punch it out. Let's go three, two, one. Release the arms, close the hips. Let's go for full strokes. Legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs, find the flow. No rush. Still warming up our bodies. We're gonna have plenty of time to work. As we're here, we think about sitting up nice and tall. Handle relaxes and releases off the chest and we don't rush that slide back to the front. This feels good, it feels right, doesn't it? Focus on your breathing. Out on the way back, in on the way forward. We're gonna be here for 10 more seconds. We'll rack it, we'll chat, a little bit of chatting, and then we'll start to work. Three, two, good. Rack up your handle. Now, for those of you who have the ability to set time, you can set 30 seconds. If you're like, wait, how do I set the time? Don't worry about it, I've got you. We're gonna row for 30 seconds at 20 to 23 strokes per minute. If you're like, I don't know about strokes per minute, find something nice and easy. 30 seconds, once again, don't overcomplicate it. Let's move our bodies 20 to 23. Easy for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. This easy pace, this 20 to 23, I've said this before, but I just think, I just feel like it's right. It's you and I strolling through the park, Central Park maybe. Maybe Golden Gate Park. You might be joining us from San Fran. It's a beautiful park. I actually think that they 
were designed by the same person, but we gotta talk rowing. We got three, two, one. Rack it. How'd that feel? Your answer should be easy because that's what it was. It was light. Now, another 30 seconds, 24 to 27. If 20 to 23 was easy, 24 to 27, it's a little bit more aggressive. This is you and I starting to like power walk, almost jog, and you're like, hey, Al, wait up. All right, here we go. 24 to 27, three, two, one, let's go. How do you initiate or how do, you, how do you start moving faster on the rower? Because we always think about a drive back being powerful in one count. It's a quicker return back to the front. And you might start to feel your legs firing a little bit more. We'll talk about how this is full body rowing. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Rack it. So now I have four and a half minutes of us, for us, excuse me, to work. Four and a half minutes. Just be moving for four and a half minutes if you don't know the time because I won't stop counting for us. The first minute, we'll hold on to 24 to 27, that light jog effort, a little bit more intense, and then we'll have 30 seconds of active recovery at 20 to 23, and we'll keep bouncing back and forth between those. Let's do it, team. Four and a half minutes. 24 to 27, let's kick it off in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go from, from legs all the way through the body. So we make sure that no muscles or no part of this row is missing out, right? 60, 70% of this row is gonna be initiated from the legs. Biggest muscles, let's use them. But think about our trunk, right? From shoulders down to your hips. All those muscles are keeping you upright, leaning back and forth without collapsing. Arms, yeah, but. We don't want to get too intense with the arms and start yanking, right? Nice and easy. 15 seconds, we'll slow it down. 20 to 23, or we'll go back to that easy pace, and it'll be an active recovery. A recovery where we keep moving. Four, three, two, one. So it feels better, right? Well, it might not feel better. You might like to go hard, but this is what's gonna allow you to work hard again in 20 seconds. So we go again, 24 to 27. It'll be one minute, we'll have this on the other side. 10. Eyes up, shoulders down. Three, two, one, pick it up. So here's what, Here's what I like to think about when we're talking endurance on the rower. I'm a big endurance guy. Triathlons, marathons. So not only is our endurance class about building your aerobic capacity, cardiovascular capacity, it's also about building postural endurance. Sometimes it's not your lungs or your heart that can't handle it. Sometimes it's the discomfort that we get in our lower backs sitting in this position. It's not that natural, but we build up to it. So maybe you're starting with a 10 minute class. And you're like, you know what? I can tolerate this guy out. I might take his 20 minute class. Eight seconds. We actively recover. Three, two, one. Slower, right? You took my 10. Maybe you were like, that was okay. I'll take the 10 again, because he was okay. Then you're like, all right, I'll take his 20, because you downloaded the app. And then you start taking the 20s, and you're like, I don't mind, I don't mind trying a 30 with this guy. He makes it kind of fun. Team, we got one minute, 24 to 27. 90 seconds left on the clock. I got instructions, don't worry, let's go. One minute harder, three, two, one. And now, I picture us six months from now. We did a 50 minute endurance class together. And then I send you a, a message because somehow we started a relationship, a friendship. You say, hey Al, great class. And I'm like, thank you so much for joining me. And then 
You ask me for a 90 minute class and I say I can't. I'm not as fit as you. Now, I've been daydreaming. We have 30 more seconds until I ask you to push through your foot plate harder. For the last 30 seconds, you're gonna bring intensity to this row. You're gonna bring effort, and we're gonna go for it. Push hard, final 30. Three, two, one, let's go, let's go. Woo Team, don't give up right now. You didn't think that 10 minutes was gonna gas you like this does, but that's what Rowan's like. Everything used, breaking a sweat. Let's go 10, come on, five, four, three, two, one, rack your handle. It's, it's unfair, it's unfair how quickly 10 minutes goes by. Kick your right foot up behind you, quick stretch team. Look, you do what you need at the end of this class, but all I can say is that I hope you loved this workout. I had a great time. I'm breathing heavy, I'm sweating, I'm almost falling over. Here's what you can do. You can download our app for a free trial to get full access to all of our classes. We have multiple class types, lengths, levels with new releases every single day. Remember, we're gonna build all together. I'll see you soon. Have an amazing day.